welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to be doing foundations and BB creams for the springtime. These are my must have BB creams, foundations, skin products for the springtime. I am not doing like all face products like primers and things like that. So if you want to see a video for that for the springtime, please let me know down below in the comments and um, I think that's it. So let's get started. <laughs> So just before we get started, I, for the springtime, like something more glowy and lightweight. So the wintertime, I feel like, is a great kind of full coverage time of year. I like it in the springtime as well, but I'm not as much into, like, the matte skin look and everything like that. So these are all mostly more lightweight, about medium coverage, light to medium coverage, and then I go in and spot conceal any areas that I have blemishes. Okay, so we're gonna start with BB creams. I have three BB creams to share with you that I really enjoy basically all year round, but mostly in the springtime. Especially now that my skin is getting a lot clearer, I can get away with BB creams and stuff like that, which I really enjoy. So the first thing I wanna mention is the Maybelline Dream BB Pure. This has 2% salicylic acid, so if you are someone who struggles with acne, this is a great um, product for you because it can fight your acne while also like just being good for your skin, like on your skin. So I really enjoy that about this product. I mostly just like this product because it is really natural looking on the skin and sits really nicely. Um, the shade I have right now is 120 and it's a medium sheer tint is what it says. Um, I think that this one is a little bit more pink of an undertone, which I like when I am actually naturally tan, but when I'm not naturally tan, that's not my favorite. I need to go look and see if I can get a different shade of this that isn't as pink um, because I really do enjoy this product. It just kind of steers me away from it when I'm not like actually naturally tan but when I am naturally tan this this mixes with my skin tone so so well and I really enjoy it I definitely agree with this being very lightweight and the shade selection for a lot of these BB creams is not the best but I feel like it you can get away with it more because it is a lightweight foundation and it's lighter coverage so it's not like a mask on your skin and you have to like really really blend so I mean, take it with a grain of salt, try and find your shade, but I really enjoyed this product. So my next product is the Garnier BB Cream. So this one is interesting because you mostly can find this in the skincare section. So like buy all the other Garnier products. They don't usually have this like near all the other makeup products. So that's just a hint for you. I have two shades. I have light medium and medium deep. I think they might only have two shades and that is so freaking awful I hate that but I really like the light medium shade especially like this one is way more gone than this one is um, because it is more of a yellow undertone I can wear this when I'm pretty dang fair and it looks pretty great whereas this one is a lot more pink undertone so what I do is when I'm a little bit more tan I mix these two together and then I can always kind of customize my shade um, and I really like this BB cream as well this one is a little bit more um, dewy than this one is um, it's really interesting because it says daily shine control I feel like they're both not like super super dewy but they definitely this one definitely has a little bit more oils that like shine through throughout the day than the BB pure does what I do like about this one is it does have 20 SPF which is really nice because then you make sure that you're protected from the skin or from the skin from the sun so this one doesn't have SPF at all in it so if you want something that doesn't have SPF um, and you want to wear it like at nighttime or something this would be kind of a great option for you but this one has SPF in it um, I'm not sure about the flashback in this SPF 20 isn't like a huge amount so it might be okay but um, I would mostly wear this throughout the day anyway. I like this one as well because you can definitely build up the coverage. I like to use a more kind of a densely packed brush to apply it or I'll use my fingertips at first and then go back in with a densely packed brush. You can get a medium coverage with it which is like super, super nice for a BB cream. Okay, the next one is a product that I feel like a lot of people talk about when they when it comes to BB cream and that is the Flower Beauty BB cream and this one is basically full coverage so I kind of lied in the beginning this one is basically full coverage I can build this up so so well and I really like that so today I have on this BB cream the Flower Beauty one and the Garnier Win mixed together because I have a lighter shade of this one and I just love the way it looks on my skin and I can get full coverage with this 
but I did go in and like spot conceal a little bit and I think it looks really nice on my skin. My skin looks like I'm wearing a normal foundation, but I have BB creams on and it feels super lightweight and I just like that for the springtime. So any of these BB creams, you can definitely like mattify more with a powder or you can just let them look super like glowy and natural with just not no, like nothing on it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is the elf foundation serum and this one is so so nice I talked about this in my like minimal My natural makeup video or something like that. I can't remember I'll link it I'll link it down below But I talked about this product and how much I've been loving it and it really is phenomenal You can see it's like super dirty because I've been using it like crazy and I hate the fact that this only comes in small amount of shades so do all of these but this one has SPF 20 and 25 in it, and it feels like a serum going on the skin, which is so, so nice. It's very silky smooth on the skin. I feel like it glides over any imperfections. It doesn't really sink too much into your skin to where you can see a bunch of your pores. It just creates a very flawless canvas, and you can get okay coverage with it. It's more like light, light medium coverage, but I really like this because I use it with my Collab Beauty um, concealer, and it matches super super well so I really love 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 this one now we're going into foundation so the first foundation I want to share is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation so this one is so so nice it has a medium coverage and you can really nicely build this up it looks so nice on the skin it's very dewy looking without being like overly crazy glowy especially when you like put a little powder on it I like it because it doesn't make me too oily throughout the day, but it also like keeps that nice glow look throughout the day, if that makes sense. Especially if you if you powder it, it still shines through, but it again, your oils don't like get crazy, crazy, crazy. I do usually use a more mattifying powder in my T-zone when I do use a lot of these glowier products, so just keep that in mind if you do have more oily skin. I don't know if these are necessarily going to work for you, but they work for me if I mattify the T-zone area because I have combination skin. So I really like this foundation. Again, medium coverage. I'm almost out of this one. I use the shade 204. The one thing I will say is the Pro Glow line has a little bit more of a pinky undertone than the like infallible Pro Matte line does. So I get 204 and 104. So like the basically the same shades, but the 104 and the infallible Pro Matte is a lot more yellow toned than this 204. So just keep that in mind um, when you're looking for your shade. It's not going to be the exact same shade, which I think is really annoying. Okay, so the next one is another L'Oreal product. I love their foundations. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. So just the normal True Match um, foundation. I have mine in the shade W4. This, again, is a great, great foundation. It has a very natural kind of satiny finish, so it looks very natural on the skin. Again, my main goal for the whole springtime is like a very natural looking foundation. Very glowy sometimes, but if I don't want it as glowy, I will go for something like this. So this one is so nice on the skin. It has a more yellow undertone. That's what I like about this range of L'Oreal products is they have warm, neutral, and cool undertones. Um and like a huge range of shades. So I really, really like the True Match foundation. It stays really nicely on my skin. Again, I can build it up to about a medium coverage, but it's a very lightweight formula. So if you want to sheer it out more, you totally can and get like a light application. And it stays pretty well throughout the day as well. So then I wanted to mention the Makeup, For Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I know this is the only high-end foundation that I'm going to mention, but I wanted to mention it because it has a very nice finish um, compared to, I don't know, just like a lot of these ones. I don't usually use high-end foundations. The only reason I have this is because Influencer sent this to me a few months back, and I really, really do like this. I especially like this foundation mixed with mattifying foundations. So... I, I would mix this with my Catrice um, HD foundation, I think is what it's called, and I love it together. It just gives a really nice natural look to the skin. This one, again, is like a light, light medium coverage. I really can't build this up too, too much, but I do really like the foundation. It, fit, it sits really well on the skin and just looks super smooth and nice. I don't know what else to say about these foundations because they're all very similar, but I'm trying to think of differences for you guys. 
Okay, the last one I'm going to mention is the new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This one has SPF 15 in it, which I think is kind of like unnecessary because if you're going to put SPF in it, you should at least put like 30. Some of these, you know, have 20, 25, and I would rather them all have 30 SPF because, I don't know, uh, there's been a lot of studies that SPF 30 is like the minimum that you should use because otherwise it doesn't really work nearly as well. So anyway, this one does have SPF 15 in it, so you get a little bit of sun protection, but I would still recommend wearing a, um, SPF underneath. So this is a cushion foundation. I have a full video reviewing this foundation on my channel, so you should make sure to go check that out if you want like an in-depth review but this again looks so nice on the skin it looks super super natural I just love the way it sits on the skin and it feels feels great I, I really like it this is also a very very affordable option along with a lot of these they're all very affordable but I really loved how this one sits on the skin it has a very 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 dewy finish at the beginning so I would highly recommend you know setting it with powder but it looks so gorgeous once you do set it with powder you know how sometimes things are dewy and then you set it with power powder and it kind of like absorbs all the oils and it doesn't shine through well this one definitely has a glow through it so that the powder doesn't like completely mattify your face so i really like that about that foundation um so yeah, that is all for all these foundations that I'm going to mention. There are eight different things in total, four BB cream, four foundations. So I hope you guys like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of like my best of spring foundations. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also suggest more videos down below. If you did like this one, I can totally do more must-have spring makeup products. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>